So I've been invited to a fishing trip, a deep sea fishing trip. I'm not too sure, I've never been. First stop, chemist, get some seasickness tablets. Second thought, the watch to wear. So I thought deep sea, even though there's no plan of going into the water. So, you know, I thought, take the sea dweller, you know, even though there's no plan of going into the water, I'm, I'm good for uh, uh, 1,220 meters, 4,000 feet. Yeah, so I've got my helium escape valve, you know, just in case. I've, I've not worn this before, it's, it's still brand new. Still got all the stickers on it. So my plan is to talk about this watch while I'm on the fishing trip. So let's see how that one goes. I'm all ready for the fishing trip. I've got my, I thought I'll put clothes on, you know that if they get soaked, you know, I don't have to, I can just chuck them in the bin. Mind you, that's like pretty much all my wardrobe really. Yeah, so we just, uh, I'm gonna head off to the marina and uh, meet up with the rest of the crew. Uh, okay, here we go. So I'm at the marina now, got my scarf. I bought this gimbal like months and months ago. And I think I'll finally be able to use it, you know, put it to some good use. You know, I'm, I think the boat will be rocking and rolling. So yeah, I think it'll be good for that. I got my cap, this is the only one I had. It's apparently it's gonna get really cold at night. So let me tell you a little about the sea dweller. This is the one that was released in Basel World 2017, you know, with all the changes. The sea Dweller basically, uh, they're three brothers, aren't they? The Submariner, the Sea Dweller and the Deep Sea. Uh, the difference being, so Sub is the brother who's just like normal. And Sea Dweller is the brother that goes to the gym, takes care of himself and he's quite built. And the deep sea basically is the, the brother on the steroids. So I can think of him in that sense. So yeah, this was released in 2017 Basel World. The difference between the previous model and this one, main, main difference is the size. They went up from 40 mm dial to a 43. Uh, another big one was the Cyclops. The Cyclops wasn't there before and that I, I think apparently it caused a lot of controversy a lot of people didn't like it so and uh, apart from that the caliber inside is uh, the new one the 3235 another big one which people did really like is I don't know if you can catch it is the red sea dweller written on the dial people love that so Rolex released this as a 50th anniversary, you know, change edition. So 50 years since the Sea Dweller was first, uh, I think reference number 1665, I think. And I think if I, I, I might be wrong because I'm not, you know, I'm not a expert on vintage watches, but I think that had the red writing on the dial as well. So, uh, and so this was released as a 50th anniversary model there you've got the helium escape valve yeah it's a it's a beauty I think that uh, by increasing the size the proportions are a lot better now you know it wears it sits on the wrist a lot better now whereas before you know it seemed a bit too you know fat compared to the dial now with the 43 it, you know, it seems a bit more well proportioned. Well, here we go. These are the the boys. Yes, this is the boat. Maybe I can have my Titanic moment here, you know. Oh, maybe not a good choice. 
not Titanic in the sense of the iceberg and the sinking, you know, standing at the front and, you know, putting your arms out moment. But then again, you know, there's not much choice of a uh, suitable partner. So we're in the mega ship. Two more subscribers. Yeah, 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 good. I need more subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> and share, 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 share. Subscribe. <laughs> Click on the bell icon. Yes. So you don't miss any of the episodes. So when we leave the marina, we have to register with the police. We need to let them know that we're going out. We have to register our residence permits. To make a note, they'll come and do an inspection as well. Also now they are making the rules for all boats to fix one GPS device connected with them. Oh, so they know where you are yeah, all the time. Exactly. And whatever happens when you inside, you just click one button for an emergency, SOS, and come. Oh, okay. We will get around the first 20 to 25 minutes. To get to the place? Yeah. Okay. And then it just stops in one place and then we... Exactly. Come to fish. Throwing the anchor and stop it. And fishing. If it's good, or good to place, okay. If not, he will move to another place, I'm like that. This one shows what is under. He cannot tell you it is fish or rocks or whatever. It just shows there's something. Hey, there is something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's not fish. Or it is a fish doesn't require sometimes our bait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you think you will catch something straight away? Exactly. And sometimes it happens. Most of the times it happens. Yeah. Just to throw and get. Fishing in sea, in, in, in the open sea, it's not like when you say. Yeah, in, in when you fish on the corniche. Yeah, exactly. The, much different. Yeah. yeah. You, will, you, will, you will see that.
back on dry land now. Uh, I think we've caught quite a bit of fish. They have these uh, small restaurants dotted around the marina that basically are there to cook your fish that you catch out at sea. 